Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Virgo love prediction reading for June 5th through June 11th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my my reading or if my reading resonates with you please give me a subscription or a like i'd be most humbled i'm always honored and very very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like thank you in advance if you do let's see what's going on what's going on with my lovable nice friendly kind sweet Virgos, show me spirit guides. What's going on with my Virgos? What's going on with my loyal Virgos? Show me spirit guides. What's going on with my Virgos? Let's see, Virgos, what you got going on? Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. And the seven of pentacles. You know, I think I'm reading for a man. I'm going to be very honest here because the ten of pentacles, whoever this person is, and I'm pretty sure I am, whomever this person is, this ten of pentacles means that they're, she's like something you've never known before. Some, she checks all your boxes. I mean, you can see yourself having a family with her. You can see yourself making money with her, building an, an, an empire with her. You can see her being there to love on you and you there to love on her. You can also see her... As a person that's your plus one forever to death do you part. In other words, your marriage person. Your plus one forever. Whoever this ten of pentacles is, this woman is bad. This woman is somebody that has everything. I'm not saying she doesn't have to be the most gorgeous woman. But to you, she's unbelievably gorgeous. She's incredibly gorgeous. Because she gives you what you need and what you want. When you look at her, you, you just see everything. And you are so in love with this woman, with this Ace of Cups here. You love this woman. You are in love with someone. You are in love with someone. But yet and still, I'm going to tell you, Virgo, if you're the King of Cups here, which is in the middle of this reading, if you're a man and you're afraid to show your emotions or you're being emotionally unavailable, which I see this is happening, you're being emotionally unavailable, let your guard down. Please let your guard down. This person is available to you, too, because... I see the nine of pentacles here. This is a this is a person that is by themselves. Um, I think she intimidates you though somewhat. But please understand, this is the kind of woman that you need. This is a woman that can help you grow and you can help her grow too. This is a woman that people don't understand how you guys got together. But you're together for purpose and for reason. There's a reason why you're drawn to her energy, to her spirit. This is a woman that is single and ready. You just got to be able to step up. You uh, have watched her for a while. You flirted with her. You guys have flirted back and forth. But now is the time. Now is the time for you to let your guard down. Because she really thinks. Because she really likes you too. She really likes you too. Um, and and I, I, I venture to say I'm going to be very careful by saying this. She loves you. I don't, I, I don't know if she's in love with you yet. Because you haven't given her the opportunity. Whenever she wants to give her love to you, you pull back. You're guarded. You won't let your, your you won't let down that guard, that veil that you have over you. You won't let that down because you're afraid of getting hurt. But maybe she's afraid of getting hurt too. But she's willing for you. Think about that for a minute. As my father said, put that up on the shelf and think about that. Because here's the seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. You are deciding how am I going to get this woman. You know, you're trying to figure out what do I need to do to show this woman that I want to be with her. I think you're trying to come out. You're, you're, you're trying to, to release. You're trying to let down um, the guard that you have. And you really need to because this is your person. I really see this as this is your person. I think she's forgiving. I think she's kind. I think everything that you ever wanted in a woman. I'm not saying she's perfect. Absolutely not. 
But what I am saying is that she get you you find her incredibly beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. And you haven't even had her yet. So if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading. Let me clarify the reading. I want to see exactly what the spirit guys, additional information the spirit guys want me to know. I see the ten of pentacles here. Sit back, relax, and just give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify it. Let's see, why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for my Virgos? Show me, Spirit, guys. Oh, I see the Five of Cups here. Five of Cups is all on you. You know, Five of Cups is because, see, you feel like it's, either she's not paying you any mind or she's not even um, taking notice to you. Maybe she's with someone else. I don't know. Or maybe she's, because I still think she's single. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe um, that she is looking at someone. So you know someone else is going to be with her, that she's dating someone else. She's not committed to anyone, though. But your heart, look at your, this. you feel remorseful and regretful because you didn't make the moves. You feel re re remorseful and regretful because you did not make the moves to make her yours. It's never too late because you see the three, the two cups, the three cups are down. If you just look behind you, there's two cups. There's always hope. There's always hope. This person loves you. Yes, this person wants to be with you. You just have to make the moves. So let's see why the Ace of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Oh, I have the seven of wands. Okay. Seven of wands. You, you, you're going to try to make up. You know what the seven of wands is? It's somebody that has excuses. Someone that's making up excuses. Someone's always on the defense as to why they are like they are. You love this person. Now you're on the defense of why in the heck you didn't make the moves. It's all about you because you're afraid. You're guarded. You're guarded because you're afraid of getting hurt. Love is a risk. So find someone it's worth risking for, and this is your person. This person is someone it is worth risking for. This is a seven of wands here because now you you're being defensive. Here you, you you got your 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 guard is back up. You know you're being defensive. You're saying okay, even if she's with someone else or if she's moving to someone else, that's on her. It's not my fault, but it is your fault because she wanted to be with you. She wanted to be with you, and this ace of cups means you loved her, and she loves you too. You guys haven't even consummated anything together and there's love. This is a friendship. This is a friendship that is a, could be a wonderful romance, a wonderful relationship that could lead to marriage. So let's see why this King of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the King of Cups here? Oh, I see the Nine of Wands. When I tell you this Nine of Wands has been in each and every one of my readings this week, there's a lot of persistence going on. There's a lot of, um, you know, um, just... Being insistent, not giving up, and you're not giving up. Good for you. You're not giving up, Virgo. You're going for this person. Even though you're guarded and you have been guarded, I see you letting your guard down because here's a nine of wands. You're going after this person. You, you're not, no matter what, even if she is with someone else, you don't care. Good for you, Virgo. Go after her. Don't let her go away from you. Don't let her slip away from you. You're going to be very persistent and very insistent, and that's normally not you. But this person is worth it. They're worth the risk. Go after it. So let's see why the Nine of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Oh, I have that Knight of Cups. Woo! Go, Virgo. Go! Whomever this man is, whoever this Virgo man is, I'm reading for, if it, even if, it's, I don't know if it's one or a bunch or what, but you are being smooth. That Knight of Cups is there. That Knight of Cups knows how to talk the talk. That Knight of Cups knows how to be compassionate. And most of all, the Knight of, Knight of Cups knows how to be charming. That's what this woman likes about you that you really didn't know anyway. But what you're doing is just reinforcing your, your heart space to her. And you're also, you're being, you're, you're almost, um, you're to the point of that you, you're very charismatic. You're letting her know, I can give you whatever you need, whatever you want. I will not give up because you're looking at that nine of wands. I know I've been guarded. I know I've seen like I've been emotionally unavailable, but it doesn't matter. I'm not giving up. I want you. So let's see why the seven of pentacles is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Oh, no, I have the five of swords. <laughs> and all this five of swords is, is just you because you're always you, you, you overthinking it. You miss this person. You want this person. 
you're in conflict in your mind because you're afraid they're going to go to someone else. You're trying to figure it out with this seven of pentacles here. How are you going to get them? How are you going to be with them? Oh, but you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure it out because they want to be with you too. This is a this is going to evolve into a relationship, a wonderful relationship. So let's say the Ten of Pentacles is, this person checks all your boxes. You see, when you see them, you see home, family, all of the above. You guys, I do believe you know each other. You've been friends. But here's the Five of Cups because you really wanted to be with this person. But here. I think you've got information. This person is dating someone else. They're not committed, but I think they're dating. Because here's the three of cups means that three cups are down. These three cups are down, but two cups are behind this woman. And the two cups are your hope. It's not over until it's over. Do not give up because you love this woman. But yet and still, seven of wands, you're making excuses as to why you never went after them. And that's your fault. You've got to get your get your butt off your shoulders and go after this what you want. Because here, you've been emotionally unavailable to this woman. She loves you too. She loves you as a friend. She loves you as a person. She loves you as a friend. What? Friendship to love? French, that's the best. And here's a nine of wands. You're being persistent, insistent. You're not giving up. Good for you. This person's single. She's dating, though. She's single, but she really wants to be with you. She does. She really wants to be with you. Here you are, the knight of cups, though. And the knight of cups here tells me that you are being very charismatic. You are not giving up. You're letting her know, babe, I got everything you need and everything you want. No one else can give it to, to you or, give it, or be good as good to you as I can. Good for you, Virgo. She's that kind of woman. She enjoys that. She enjoys that. And then I have the seven of pentacles because you're not giving up. You're not going to give up. You are going to go after this woman. The seven of pentacles here, I don't think it's going to take long either. But the seven of pentacles here is letting me know that you're trying to come up with a plan. You're trying to learn. You're trying to watch her even more to see, come up with a plan as to how to get her, as how to be with her. I see you just coming up with a plan, being very analytical, putting it together. Because you've already told her how you feel about her, which is huge for a Virgo. Unbelievably huge. You're no longer, your guard has come down. And you needed that to come down. And here you have the five of swords there because in your mind, you're conflicted. You really don't want her to be with anyone else. Matter of fact, that's you're on fire because of that. You don't know what to do. That five of swords, like you, you're like, I miss this person. I want this person. I don't want them to be with anyone else. You're conflicted. All you do is think about this person. You miss their energy around you because, like I said, I do believe this person is dating someone else or she's gone out of your life for right now, but you're pulling her back in. You're pulling her back in. So let's see. Show me oracles. Show me oracles. What do you want to tell me about this? Show me. Show me. Oh, the oracles say it's up to you. Oh, wow. Oh, and they say in the near future. You and this person are about to be together. You are about to be with this person. Absolutely. That's what I have for you, Virgo, for your love prediction reading. 